How we doing guys? Now, I wanted to break down something real quick. First thing, people has been giving me a lot of grief over the Candyman review. Tony Todd could be in it just for a brief minute. You know, I, I don't know. I just know what I was told about the ending. And that's all there is to it. And that's the end of it. Now, I was getting to the top five now it's my top five but the top five best horror slasher villains and the criteria is is how much money they made gross not worldwide just domestic and how much money they'd put into their movies plus the kill count and also their iconic status i rate from 10 to 1 10 being the worst one being of course the best so we'll start out with, of course, Mr. Myers, Michael Myers. Now, he made 10 movies, not 11, because Season of the Witch don't count. And them 10 movies made $468 million just in the U.S. Now, they had put in... To the movies, ninety-three million dollars. So it's a good profit turnaround. And he's also got in ten movies, he's got one hundred and twenty-one kills, which averages out to about eleven people uh, a movie he kills. And my icon status to him is one, but he's going to be tied, of course, with a certain party that. I love just as much. Oh, as a matter of fact, we're speaking of him now. Yeah, because Michael is wrecking in the dough, dude. He, he should have bills like this with, or be sponsoring like Nike on a, yeah, like a coffee cup or. But anyway, he would go to Mr. Voorhees. Now, Jason, 12 movies, actually just 11 because he was, wasn't in the first one. His gross just were or in the states three hundred and eighty three million dollars, and they've only put in eighty million into the budget. Now he's tied for first, of course, with the iconic status, but he's got a hundred and fifty seven kills, the most of any slasher, which averages around thirteen kills a movie. Then we got God love him, poor Leatherface. He's just been his past movies he's had some good ins and bad ins i mean he i mean look he's a transvestite for god's sakes so you know i feel sorry for him he's on the picket line right now trying trying to sell one of his uh you know aprons that he kills people with you know he has on so he won't get blood on him he was going to trade him for a wick check or food stamps i reckon anyway he done eight movies and some of them was so so, and they grossed 199 million in the states, and they only put 50 million into the budget. I give him a three ranking, sorry, Leatherface, of iconic status, and he's got 34 kills, which averages around 4.25 kills a movie. Coming at number four is another money maker. He ought to have his face on money too. Is Freddy Krueger. Now he's made nine movies, got three hundred and seventy million dollars, but he's got a hundred and five million dollars in the budget. And I'll give him a number two ranking in icon status because it's Freddy Krueger. Now he's got forty two kills in his nine movies, which averages just a little bit higher than Leatherface's, which is around 4.6. <clears throat> now, this right here is, Pennywise is just making it rain with money. We ain't even talking, yeah, we ain't even talking about my favorite Pennywise, Tim Curry. We're talking about just the two movies that Peter Skarsgård done. Two movies grossed 
and just in the United States, five hundred and forty million dollars, and they only put a hundred and five million dollars into the budget. I give him a four status on Icon, but he's got thirty one kills in two movies, which averages the highest of any slasher. It's fifteen and a half kills a movie. And here's some honorable mentions. One, Candyman. Didn't the Farewell to the Flesh, eh, first and done awesome. He's got about 21 kills. I give him maybe a five on the icon status of horror slasher. But Jigsaw, uh, that little creepy ass thing. I ain't even gonna mention Ghostface because that, that's, that's a joke. Jigsaw, eight movies. Four hundred and seventy-seven million dollars, budget ninety-five million dollars. I give it a number six on maybe icon status, but in his eight movies, he has murdered ninety-one people, which gives him an average of around eleven and a half kills a movie. So, and not only that, but uh, you know. I don't know. But anyway, next time I come back at you, this is some of Voorhees' best kills. Take care. God bless.